In this video, we explain how to use assignments in survey solutions. The survey solution system is based on a hierarchy of users who perform their responsibilities based on their requests of users above them in the hierarchy. Each survey starts with a headquarters user deciding on the questionnaire, that is, importing the questionnaire from the designer to the data server, and then making assignments to supervisors who can in turn assign to individual interviewers. Assignments instruct interviewers to collect a predefined number of interviews based on a respondent's characteristics. For example, one interviewer may receive an assignment to collect 18 interviews from households residing in District 5 of the sampling area, while another interviewer will need to collect 10 interviews in District 3. Assignments might be more precise, such as asking interviewers to interview only households with children in these districts. In surveys with predefined samples, when the identifying information of the interview subjects is known, such as a household address, assignments correspond to a single interview. An assignment is comprised of several obligatory components. One, the survey questionnaire. Which survey must be conducted? Which questionnaire is to be used? The survey name never changes. From the time the assignment is created for a particular survey, it stays unchanged throughout the circulation of it in the system. Number two, the responsible person. Who must perform this task? A person responsible for an assignment may change. For example, the supervisor may pass an assignment to one of her interviewers, or reassign an assignment to a different interviewer. Number three, identifying information. Where should the interviewers collect the response? Number four, Number of interviews. How many interviews should be collected? A survey planner often decides how many individual households to interview in a particular enumeration area, or how many patients in a particular health facility, etc. This number, capacity, or quota may be known, such as 12 households from enumeration area A, or unknown, such as all households located in Ravenswood District in Chicago, Illinois. Difference between an assignment and an interview. Survey Solutions distinguishes between assignments and interviews. Assignments are work orders sent from headquarters or the supervisor to an interviewer. For example, to conduct 10 interviews in EA 123. Interviews are the work products that result from those assignments. For example, one of the 10 interviews completed from EA123. Assignments, in other words, are orders to conduct a specific number of interviews, potentially in a predefined place with a predefined population. Interviews, in practical terms, are the individual result of those assignments, that is, the filled questionnaire that counts towards completion of an assignment. Creating Assignments in Survey Solutions Only headquarters can create new assignments. Select the Survey Setup tab and click on Questionnaires. Click on the questionnaire template you want to create a new assignment for, and then click on New Assignments from the pop-up menu. A typical questionnaire has one or more identifying questions. When an assignment is made, the headquarters user decides which identifying questions he can answer. An interviewer then fills out the unanswered questions. We will make an assignment for Chicago, Ravenswood District, leaving the street name, building number, and respondent surname to be filled out by the interviewer. Specify the size, that is, the quantity of interviews available for the assignment. The size is the maximum number of interviews that can be generated for that assignment. For scenarios where the number of interviews is unknown, an infinite limit may be imposed by setting the number of interviews to negative one. In this case, the interviewer will be able to create as many new interviews as necessary. Both the number of conducted interviews and the number of remaining interviews in an assignment are displayed on the interviewer's dashboard. The limit can be revised increased or decreased by the headquarters users. Size of interviews per assignment cannot be split in the future between interviewers. To do this, you should create new assignments. 
we specify that we want exactly 16 interviews to be collected from that enumeration area. We can make the assignment directly to interviewer Rebecca C, selecting her name from the responsible list. The assignment is created when we click the Create button. A headquarters user can see all of the assignments in the assignments list. Here is the one we have just created. Survey Solutions assigns a unique identifier to each assignment and tracks the date of the creation and last modification of an assignment. The progress of the assignment completion is reflected with the number of submitted interviews and total interviews. If we ever need to adjust the number of interviews that should be created from this assignment, we can click the number in the size column and specify a new value. Press Save to confirm changes. Rebecca C. will receive the new assignment after synchronization. Here it is. An interviewer has a similar list of assignments, restricted to her assignments only. Rebecca C. can create an interview based on this assignment. In total, 20 interviews can be created from this assignment. For each interview, identifying information must be specified. Creating assignments in batch mode. In practice, creating assignments one after another is not feasible logistically, and instead the headquarters users supply a sample file to create the assignments automatically. We start by clicking a survey and selecting Upload Assignments. In most cases, it is sufficient to specify identifying information to create new assignments. The other option allows for specifying additional information in panel and other similar types of surveys. Survey Solutions automatically produces the template file, which we need to populate and upload back to Survey Solutions. Click on Download.tab template for this questionnaire. Each column corresponds to a variable designated as identifying, and every row corresponds to an assignment. You can leave some identifying information blank for any assignment. Any identifying information left blank can be filled out by the interviewers. During batch upload of interviews, this limit is placed into the variable quantity. If this variable is not specified, one is assumed. The person responsible for the assignment may be specified in the variable responsible, which accepts the login names of supervisors or interviewers. Do not leave empty fields in the responsible column. The server will verify the data in the .tab file. If there are errors, then it will list what these are. Once you have fixed the errors, you can try to upload the .tab file again. After the server has verified the data in the .tab file has no errors, you will see a screen that says, Verification Complete. If you have not added a responsible column to your tab delimited file, you will need to choose the supervisor responsible for these interviews. After selecting the responsible supervisor or interviewer, you will need to prepare a separate .tab file for each supervisor or interviewer if you do not include a responsible column in the .tab file. Click the Create Assignments button. The system will show you how many assignments were created and how many failed. Click the Assignments button to go to the Assignments list. For more information, please visit our site.